Marita Lopez is a single mother of four. She works full time as a security guard to try and give her kids a better life. It's really hard for pay for everything, especially college, insurance, everything. It's really hard. Hard to make ends meet. That's why she is very interested in one of the four new high schools opening in Cleveland next year. Come fall, this empty school will be the new home of the Bard High School Early College Cleveland. Ann Mullen is with the George Gunn Foundation, a foundation that has given $649,000 in support of two of the new high schools. The numbers of kids going to college is increasing in Cleveland. It's not as high as anybody wants it to be, but I think innovative high school models that really say we're going to prepare you for college and career are really important. The four-year public high school will offer typical course of study in freshman and sophomore years, but then college classes for credit. Christine Fowler Mack is with the Cleveland Metropolitan School District. She says money is a big reason Cleveland school graduates don't go on to college. We believe it's going to increase our college going rate um, and also in a way that helps our students be more successful and also that it's an affordable option too to have students graduating with 60 credit hours potentially under their belt um, is a significant gift to families. The Bard High School will be the first in Ohio and among only a handful elsewhere. It has already proven to be a popular choice for Cleveland school students and it hasn't even opened its doors yet. It is for the Lopez family who will look into it. I think it's a good idea because kids will have a better opportunity.